Hi everybody, welcome to chapter five. So in this chapter, we're gonna talk about cell division. Specifically, we're going to be looking at two forms of division. One is known as mitosis. Uh-oh, there we go. And the other is meiosis. And so mitosis is the division of regular body cells, whereas meiosis is division of sex cells. And I'm going to change. So all animals started as a single cell. And, oh, wow, that was not what I wanted. That single cell, all humans, start as a zygote. So a zygote forms when sperm and egg come together. And this single cell then is going to go through multiple cell divisions and specializations. Okay, so we have a single cell. It goes through multiple mitotic divisions and specializations. And we produce an, a, a human that consists of 300 trillion cells. And that actually is only the human cells. We also are composed of a lot of bacteria, way more bacterial cells than human cells. Now, as we go through cell division, some parts are going to undergo a decrease in cell number, and that is called apoptosis. So this is programmed cell death. Oops, that would be another M, A-M-M. -M. So, in regions where we don't need more cells or more tissue, we're going to reduce that tissue. So an example would be like the tail of a tadpole or the webbing between fingers and toes in the human. Those regions are there initially, and then the cells start to decrease in number. They go through that apoptotic um, decrease. And that allows us to produce the structure that we are all familiar with. So this is apoptosis. So there are a series of events that occur that lead to apoptosis. Specifically, we have enzymes that initiate the apoptosis process. Um, apoptosis is held in check by different um, proteins called inhibitors. And when they are stimulated, they will, they will be secreted and activate the apoptosis that we see. And so what this is, um, I just picked a picture off of Google Images that shows a human hand, so the embryo, and basically what goes on. So initially we have this large area where there's lots of tissue, and then as the embryo develops further and further, we form those fingers, and the tissue between those fingers is um, broken down through apoptosis. And then we have these nice tissues that are normal, okay? So the cell has its own life cycle. A cell has a life cycle, and the life cycle of a cell is known as its cell cycle. And it's the time from when a cell is produced to when that cell divides. 
into two daughter cells. And there's a set of stages that occur between this initial production of the cell and the time it divides, resulting in its daughter cells. So there are two major stages of the cell cycle. The first is interphase. Interphase has multiple um, steps that occur. And then we have mitosis, which also has multiple steps that occur. And so we're going to look at each of these steps of interphase, and then we'll get into mitosis. The term mitosis means division of the nucleus, and mitosis is followed by cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. And so here you can see that interphase, interphase is this whole purple region. If you look, um, interphase takes up the majority of the cell cycle. So interphase is the longest step of the cell cycle. And it, it is broken down into three major steps. So we have growth phase one, synthesis phase, and growth phase two. There is this G0 phase. Um, G0 phase occurs in some cells where they kind of go into a um, maintenance period, so they're still producing the proteins they need, they're doing all their normal maintenance, but they aren't preparing for division. So in G1, the cell is going to be producing proteins necessary for the S phase or synthesis. The cell is also going to be doing normal metabolic activities, and it's going to start getting larger. Then we hit that S phase. This is the synthesis phase, and in synthesis, the, the DNA is going to replicate. That's why it's called synthesis, because synthesis means we're producing something. So DNA replicates. We're producing new DNA. So we produce an identical copy of the DNA that we already have. This is going to prepare us to go to, into mitosis. Then we enter the G2 phase. So in G2, we're going to produce proteins needed for mitosis. So these proteins are going to be used in the mitotic phase. And then we hit that mitosis, and mitosis in a nutshell is a series of steps that divides the DNA into two equal amounts, identical to the original set of DNA that was here before synthesis and cytokinesis where we're dividing the cytoplasm so now we have two cells that are identical to each other so during my or during the cell cycle and actually during interphase and uh, mitosis, the whole cell cycle, there are three checkpoints that the cell goes through. These are in G1, in G2, and in metaphase. And in these checkpoints, there are proteins called cyclins that are going to um, be checking to make sure that the cell is ready to go to the next stage. Cyclins work with another protein called CDK, cyclin-dependent kinase, okay? So it's CDK. I'll write it here. That's my dog snorting, just FYI, they're playing together. So cyclins and CDKs work together 
and they help to maintain the cell cycle. And so in the first stage in G1, at that checkpoint, the cell is going to check to make sure that the DNA is not damaged and that the cell is large enough. Okay, if anything is wrong with that cell, if there is a mutation in the DNA, if the cell is not growing properly, then the cell is going to undergo apoptosis. Once that checkpoint has been completed, then they go through S and DNA is replicated. So now we're moving to the G2 checkpoint. So this is a checkpoint to make sure that the cell is ready to go into mitosis. This first checkpoint was making sure that the DNA was ready for synthesis, okay, which is right there. Now we're ready, we're readying ourselves for mitosis. So they're going to check to make sure that the DNA was replicated properly. Again, this is all about that DNA right here. Um, if DNA was replicated properly and the cell is large enough, the cell is going to then enter the mitotic phase. If there's any damage in the cell or if the DNA is damaged, then the cell is going to, again, undergo apoptosis if it can't fix itself. The last phase is that mitotic phase and we have at the metaphysial plate right here, we have a checkpoint. And at this checkpoint, we're making sure that the spindle fibers that are produced which are these little tiny fibers, and I'm just gonna draw some DNA over here just for funsies, okay? Um, let's just say that these are the chromosomes that we have, right? We're going to have spindle fibers coming from both ends, and they have to attach to each chromosome so that they can then pull the chromosomes apart and you can get one of each type of chromosome on each side. So if the spindle fibers are not produced properly or if they're not attached properly, then the chromosomes are not going to be able to uh, be split properly and that means that the cell that the cells that are produced would not have the correct amount of DNA and so then the cell again is going to stop and if it can't fix itself, it's going to undergo apoptosis. I am going to actually stop here. Well, I'll quickly tell you that the function of checkpoints, the function of these cyclins and CDKs are to um, protect us and prevent diseases such as cancer. So if cells are not able to prevent um, improper growth of, of mutated structures, then cancers can develop. And our cells are always undergoing this process to make sure that we do not develop cancerous cells. So I'll stop here and we'll get into um, how mitosis and meiosis, or not how mitosis, how mitosis and cytokinesis occur, okay? So have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.